This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 18, Collision, and Part 16. Let's see. Oh, don't forget we have our game. Yours probably looks different than mine, but we have a game. Let's see what we're going to do with it. Flyer game. Make it your own. Time to make this game your own by using what you've learned about sprite interactions. Do this. Add at least one or more aspect to your game that uses sprite interactions. There are some ideas below, or you can choose to add a feature of your own. Make sure you're ready to share your ideas with friends and classmates, definitely. Create an edge sprites to keep your character from bouncing out. Ooh. Add platforms to the game to make your character navigate around. Add another obstacle. Create another idea of your own. Okay, cool. So that are those are some options. I'm going to go ahead and do an animate, and then I want the ground. Oh, whoa. Oh, but those are backgrounds? Can I crop? <gasps> no. Yeah. Yes. Wait. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. What's this do? Oh, nope, not what I wanted. I control Z. So I think it's blank in the background. So I'm just going to call this grass. Let's see if this works. I have no idea. All right. Code. Whoa. Okay. And then what do I want? I want to change out where this says rectangle. I don't want to make a rectangle. I'm going to get rid of this. No stroke, goodbye, bye. I need to make a sprite. And my sprite's name is going to be, well, grass. I want to spawn it, I think, down the screen some. So X is going to be... Uh, I'm not really sure where I should with X, honestly. Um, and then 300. Let's just try that. We need to now assign the animation. So grass... Set animation to grass. Let's see. Is that going to create it? Yep. Draw sprites. Let's see. Oh, well, hey, we have an animation. All right. So we are now going to move it. I want that thing down further. So Y is going to be greater than. So I would want that to be 350, and let's make this 200 and see where that puts it. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, I love that. Okay, um, let's do 375 just to make it less of a size of the screen. Oh, I am loving it. Is that making it bigger, though? What if I write 400? Hmm. Oh, so now it's just at the very bottom. All right, I'm going to put it at 400. And now I'm going to get rid of this if statement where I had if characters less than 350, because I want our character to if character is touching grass, um, life minus one, that's fine. And then let's have the character just bounce. Bounce. Oh, is that going to be collide? Bounce off. Character is going to bounce off of grass. Control Z that. Grass. Let's see. That is awesome. And now, zero. Okay, well, we did one suggestion. Add another obstacle, create your own idea. I have another idea I want. I want something, ooh, an ice cream's pretty valuable. 
but I want something. So maybe food's the enemy. Do they have other coin? Ooh, what about a star? Wait, where's my star? Ooh, they have different color coins. Which one do we have? Is it gold? Darn it, it is. Delete that. Yes, delete it. I know that's too far, but now I'm just wanting to see what they have. Ooh, game pieces. Okay, I am definitely going to do a silver one. Call this silver. And I'm going to make that worth some amount of points too. So I'm going to set up an animation for that and add it in. I could also set up different ground to bounce off of, or make it so you lose or gain points by touching the ice cream, right? I'm going to keep playing with my game. You do the same to yours. Um, and if you share or post it below, I'll definitely give it a shot. Uh, ooh, ooh. Nope, no, wrong. I'm not that good at this. Oh, I'm going to lose lives. Anyways, all right. Have fun with this. Post yours below. And yeah, I'm excited to see everyone's games.